Hey everyone, welcome to the Game Week 29 team selection video. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe before we get going, but without further ado, there's not a whole lot I don't think to talk about this week, other than one important thing that hasn't been updated yet is Joshua Zerksy has been injured in the last game and likely will be out for some time. Um, now, I haven't made any transfers. In fact, I am thinking of rolling my transfer. Obviously, you don't want a player out for a month. But the issue is I did use all my money. I have zero money in the bank. Um, and Xerxes only a 5.2 forward, which is why he's been such like a must-have player for me this year is because he's a great player that keeps the cost down and allows you to use your money elsewhere. However, there's not really any options that I'd even consider around that price point um, for Bologna otherwise. So I think I'm going to have to roll my transfer this week. So then I can maybe move a more expensive player and Xerxes at the same time and kind of get two a little bit more average players, one being a striker and maybe one being a midfielder if I move on from Dybala or Kvaratselia at some point there. So, or unless I moved on two attackers at the same time, but we'll see what happens. Um, captaincy this week, here we'll actually go to my team. Uh, captaincy this week, I'm thinking of Vlaovic playing up top. Now it is red. That's because he just played through, or like he, uh, there was just a match where he was suspended, so he didn't play. Um, and so that's why the red symbol is there for him. He should be available for this game. Latour Martinez hopefully is back. I'm sure they will have him play against Napoli. Uh, last week he was rested, probably because they had the Champions League match, which is like probably just finishing up at the time that this is shooting as it's uh, Wednesday here at about 5.30 Eastern time. Um, but hopefully he will uh, be there. Then Dybala was in a good, a really good run of form last week, finally brought him in, didn't do anything. Hopefully he goes back to his scoring ways this upcoming week. Fratelli has been good. It's going to be hard against Inter Milan, but I feel like he's a player that you can't bench. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to captain him for this week game week, but I have to play him. Sula, not expecting huge things from him this week against Lazio, but you never know. Sometimes Frosinone could just get a penalty, and he could step up and put one away. Ederson, I'm kind of expecting against Fiorentina, his average five or six points. We'll see what happens there. And Brummer, Bellanova, and Scalvini definitely could get clean sheets this week. DeMarco, hopefully he plays this week. I think it's similar to Lautaro, where they wanted him for Champions League, but I'm sure he will play a big match against Napoli. Maybe they can keep a goose egg for the first uh, half, and but it's going to be hard to keep Napoli out for 90 minutes, and especially if he gets subs in the second half and Napoli scores in the first half, I might end up seeing a low score with DeMarco. Lastly, Scuffe continues to be chosen over Tarati as Tarati is Lazio this week. Uh, Xerxes is going to be on my last bench spot just because he won't see the field. I think it's pretty clear uh, his injury is going to keep him out this week. Um, Spinazzola, I don't know, like he just hasn't been starting, hasn't been getting a lot of minutes, so that's why I haven't been putting him in. I'd honestly rather him in than maybe like a Scalvini this week with Roma facing Sassuolo, but I don't want another one or two pointer from him. And uh, Goodmanson against Juve, I'm going to have in the second bench spot. But that is how my team is looking. I mean, if you're really wanting to, if you have more than one substitution or uh, free transfer, I think you can make the move, get Xerxes in, and get someone else expensive you have in your team out and kind of level the playing field with those prices a little bit. Uh, if you only got the one transfer and you really want to... Um, Get rid of Xerxes this week. The uh, uh, Udinese forward, Luca, is a 4.8. Uh, Danny Motta, if you have a little bit of money in the bank, you'd go up a little bit. Uh, Juric, who came from, who's doing good at uh, Hellas Verona earlier in the season, also at Monza, 4.8. If uh, Still, if you have some money in the bank, I guess OC men's back, so Raspberry probably wouldn't be a great decision. Kristovic has actually been a uh, good player for let you in the last little while but those are some options if you're really trying to uh, get rid of Xerxes I still think Dybala is a good player to bring in if you can uh what are his fixtures coming up Sassuolo, Lecce, Lazio, Udinese so, some okay fixtures uh for Roma still that you could be taking advantage of but that's how my team looks so far uh, I don't see myself really changing anything unless there's news. Sometimes after these videos, I get news that someone's suspended and then I need to switch things up. 
Um, but otherwise, this seems like what we're going to go with this week. Let me know what you have. Are you moving Xerxes on this week? And are you doing that with just one substitution or do you have multiple? I don't think it's worth the hit for me right now. Uh, I'm just hoping the players that I have here will carry the load for this week. And then I'll probably move him next week is my thought. And it'll probably be getting rid of either Dybala or Kvartelia and Xerxes to get a decent forward and midfield at the same time. That's all I got for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Friday's the deadline.